Lung cancer is the number one cancer killer in the country. Mm. And to help Illinois residents figure out their risk, the American Lung Association has launched a new screening program. And here to tell us more about this from the American Lung Association is Janie Killalay. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, thank you for having me. You know, we a lot have. of people, when they find out that they have lung cancer, it's really at a late stage. Right. So right. this is what you guys are hoping to do, I assume, with this new program. Yes, because there really are no symptoms for lung cancer. So by the time people find out that they have it, it's they're in stage three or stage four. Mm. So if you get screened, that's the you can you can get treatments because early detection helps. Okay. So that's why we have this new program to get people to get screened. And in Illinois, there's like every year ten thousand people are diagnosed with lung cancer, and nearly half of those people die. So that's why. We want people to get screened. Okay, so let's address the elephant or pig in the room. <laughs> yeah. uh, tell us what you brought here. So, I mean, this is just an example of like this is these are pig lungs. These are not human. So let's just yeah, <laughs> so <we're laughs> right. So these are health. Like this is a healthy lung, and this lung here is an example of 20 years of exposure to secondhand smoke. Secondhand, secondhand right, smoke. Right. This is secondhand smoke. So, and actually, secondhand smoke is probably more harmful than. You know, because you're you're not getting like when you smoke, it's being filtered. Secondhand oh, smoke, it's wow. going straight in, right? I so, didn't think of that. Yeah, it's it's more dangerous, wow. and harmful for you. Oh, okay. so and see on this lung here, I don't know if you can zoom in, like see that little white circle? Yeah, yeah. That's like a tumor, cancerous tumor forming on the oh, lung there. So wow. ooh, I touch it. So, but, <laughs> but um, yeah. And if you pump it, like oh, yeah. I know Amy, you have it over there. Yeah. Look, here. if you pump it here, uh, oh, see, it doesn't. It's it's not getting as much air. So imagine if it's oh in God, your chest. Oh my God! And look at the bubbles. Oh my gosh! Yeah. It's gonna explode. Right? Yeah. You can see. Makes me kind of want to stop at the same time. I kind of want to keep going. Right. So, <laughs> right, so if it's in your chest, you're not getting as much lung or, or much air in your lungs. So just think about that. But the other good thing is that you know your lungs can. I guess not rejuvenate, but they can repair themselves. It's like the liver. It can right. actually repair itself. Right. Right. I mean, wow. Not, not to like if you're like this, you're not gonna. I'll end up like that. this. Right, but, but if you stop smoking, you can. But that's what we're saying, get scanned. So our program is like you call 844-ALA-LUNG and you can, um, there'll be a nurse navigator who answers and they'll tell you where the nearest screening center is and you can go and it, it, it's not covered by insurance, we'll give you a voucher. Okay. And we'll even give you um, a ride. <laughs> if you oh, need well, a if ride. You need a, wow. okay. yeah, if you need a ride, we'll provide a ride. So if you, you know, there's like, the main criteria is if you're age 50 to 80, okay. if you've smoked a pack a day for like the last 20 years, or if you've smoked two packs a day for 10 years, but we just want you to get scanned. What, what about those people who, uh, I don't know, may have smoked in college, maybe a little bit afterwards, and then, you know, cleaned up their acts? Is, mm -hmm. Do you still have a risk for lung damage? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Basically, okay. if you have lungs, you're at risk for lung cancer. Oh. Period. So, period. Period. Even if yeah. you try to lead a good, clean life. Because mm -hmm. okay. a lot of, I mean, non-smokers get lung cancer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so when you do catch this, say you catch it early, there are treatments and yes. you can live? Mm -hmm. Or is this still a death sentence? No, there's treatments. People live long, healthy lives. And since early detection is key. Okay, so kind of a two-fold question. Because uh, mm -hmm. vaping had become popular and yes. now marijuana is legal. Yes. How does those types of smoke affect people's lungs? Um, it's they're just as harmful because okay. there are toxins okay. in there. And I mean, the, this, this is discolored because of the tar, Yeah. but vaping is, there's toxins in there and that's why you, we don't, we don't like that. Okay. <laughs> we, we don't like that. Okay, so, so it's, it's not necessarily like that. that it is darkened the lungs or what have you. Mm -hmm. It's more so that it is impacting the ability to expand mm -hmm. and breathe yes. freely. Yes. Oof. Oh, wow. So, um, right, so just get scanned. Basically, right. and, and we want to say, like, I would say, um, African American men and women have a lower survival rate. rate. So we really encourage them to get scanned. So okay. you know, like, if you're, you, if anybody smoked at any point in time, if you know your mom, your your grandma, your grandpa, your uncle, yeah. 
take them to get scanned. Okay. I mean, and it's, we're making it easy for you. We'll give you a voucher. We'll give you a ride. Just call 844-ALA-LUNG. Oh, gosh, that's so scary. Because, like, our generation, they all smoke. Nobody yeah, knew it was yeah, bad for you. Know, or you yeah. have been at least exposed to it, if not, if yes. you didn't Bless smoke. Bless my parents right. so you that, Remember yeah. when you could smoke at the bars, at the restaurants, oh, you were gosh. in there smoking and all that. Right. Oh, I mean, God. look at this. This is just exposure to smoke. Secondhand smoke. Exposure to secondhand yeah. smoke. All right, the, uh, the information is on the screen there for the Lung Association, so you can find out where you can get scanned. And again, they said they get vouchers, or you can even get travel. So, so no, no excuses. Reason, right? No <laughs> excuses. Janie, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. Well, you're very welcome. Thank you.